good. 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 Sleepy but good. Sleepy. Yeah. Good. Good. Hungry, sleepy. It's that time. Yeah. It's the end of the day at Comic Con. I think uh, we're all in there. Yeah. End of the end of the journey. So with your characters, um, I've been asking this of everyone's characters uh, since magic is so integral to your guys' life, and uh, you guys have this darkness where you use your magic from. How does losing magic affect your personality? It's like, like you specifically, Julia, is so integrated into magic, and like she's so aligned with it. How does that affect her knowing that she can't? She does nothing. Actually, does have magic involved with that? I, yeah. Um, but that being said, I think Jason said this earlier. It was so perfect. It, it's not. It's so much bigger than just that. It's now global. Like it's it's global. This is a problem that affects everyone. So it's beyond their just their comprehension. It, it becomes like a greater issue. Well, I think it's so interesting, right? Like we lay Easter eggs throughout the, the seasons that like all of the great inventors of our time were magicians. So if their inventions were run by magic, or at least created by magic in their infancy, what happens when magic goes away? Nikola Tesla was one of these people. So like, what, does electricity stop working? Do airplanes start falling out of the sky? Does the gravitational force of the moon stop working? Like, do the seasons shift? Are the tides not working? Like, like this is a global energy crisis. And so it's bigger than anything that they've ever dealt with before. And the responsibility to that, yeah, I think, is extraordinary. It's almost like to save the world. You know, to save magic. Since the elimination of magic is directly related to Quinta's actions, does he feel a sense of responsibility or guilt going into season three? Kind of, but he's also a person of logic. So, I mean, if we think about what happened, Ember was going to destroy magic anyway. So someone had to stop it. And they, so it was a catch-22. Um, so, yes, like... His actions are responsible, but had he not done anything, we probably would have been in the same place anyway. Um, I also think there is, through through what Quentin learned last year, or last season, um, about moving forward and having um, an objective and a goal, I think you're afforded the ability to not have to self-evaluate. Um, and so I think he's addicted to this forward momentum and we're not going to think about the things that we should probably be dealing with because it would be dangerous to me to do so right now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah.